Today is a beautiful day for science. This is very exciting. This uh, region, yesterday and looking at it, was not that extensive. It had a very patternized polarity, very structured, organized. The constant flaring showed that there was a, a restructuring going on, but didn't seem like anything extensive. And looking at what we saw yesterday. Since yesterday, we are actually seeing the introduction of a new positive umbra that's occurring directly before the main leading umbra and on that basis it, it just take takes this uh, region from you know that that high C class and rapid activity to a whole different level very exciting so yeah this has actually well exceeded my expectations but we're seeing that this leading umbra here is shifting its shape and being restructured. And we can see a lot of outside the darker umbra, the, the penumbra area, actually becoming a little more motion active, which is very nice. So what we have is this positive region here, just before it, is actually growing. And it started to develop this morning for the most part and because of that we're getting these flares so this is actually a this is why it's always important to understand that a forecast or uh, an analysis of something like this it can change instantly because there's so much happening underneath the photosphere that we can't see and it in an instant that can change uh, the thing is with this, I would have actually expected them to escalate the proton event possibility as well, being that this is a surface change, significant surface change, but uh, I wouldn't say it's a super high probability. I would say it is a possibility of a proton event. Uh, most likely what we're going to see is more of the loops being transferred and the energy being transferred over as this closer leading uh, positive umbra grows becoming a shorter path of least resistance so while both of them are aligned to be a good directional for that energy to transition positive to negative energy connection for that, those magnetic field lines it is it is just magnificent to see that you know just that little space difference and we have those loops saying well it's easier going over here <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what we're seeing here. So this umbra right here is growing. And this is a, a new umbra. And as that umbra grows, it's going to be stealing from this umbra here, which used to be the primary leading umbra. And uh, that's why we're seeing these flares currently. Quite beautiful. This is also one of the reasons why when I make an analysis of the sun, look at it and say, okay, so this, this is what's happening right now. I check it every single day, every single day, because the very next moment it can change. On top of that, I could be wrong, and I'd rather correct myself and find what's right than just stand on the hill of, well, I said this. <laughs> I, for me, science is front and center. I'm more of just the observer and the person that's looking at the data and trying to interpret it to the best of my ability.